Hi there. This is a tutorial for website the Woods technique of precision laser therapy. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to use this website, how to add new pages, blog posts, how to add new images into gallery, how to remove some images from the gallery, how to add new service under services page how to edit current pages let's say about about or contact or how to edit home page so let's get started currently i'm logged in as administrator as you can see from the top navigation bar if you don't know how to log in as administrator behind this url of precisionlasertherapy.com.au we add slash vp minus admin this will navigate us to the login screen where we will input our data credentials username and password for this website so let's go to the dashboard this is the dashboard so this is basically the tool the tool for editing the website so if we want to let's say let's start from pages if we want to add a new page into our website we go into pages add new all right well, once it opens we open advanced layout editor first we're gonna add a new title After we add a new title, we can set categories right here. If we don't have a category for this page, we can add a new category and assign that category to this page. We can add tags. This is most likely irre irrelevant for you. So there are various options like layout. We can choose no sidebar layout or left or right sidebar so basically we don't want a sidebar we select no sidebar and this page will be generated without sidebar it will be full width if we choose the left sidebar we can choose which sidebar do we want first thing that we need to add into this new page with the title add new title here this is just a sample title we need to add a new layout element which is a row so we can select one one this is a full width row or we can select other options here depending what layout do we want let's select one and half and one and half i click it twice so we got two halves here we got two columns actually we then select content elements in here let's say we're gonna add a new text block in the left column and we're gonna click on it here we go we got the editor here we can add content in here text but we can add images as well we add images into here by clicking add media here we either choose image from the media library or we upload files from our pc let's select existing image let's say this one and we click we can choose we can choose si size here and alignment do we want this image to be aligned left right or center i'm gonna choose center i'm gonna choose size medium and I'm going to click insert into page there we go this is our my content I can choose various options for styling here like let's say bold do I want this to be underlined and so on I can center this as well as with the image with align center here I can as well I can as well add links here we add a link here by clicking this button insert add link let's say link to YouTube 
we add URL here and we add a link text here named YouTube. We can choose option here for opening this link in the new tab. This is sometimes very useful if we don't want for the client, uh, the, the, the customer or the client or user leave our website. So we choose open link in a new tab. So YouTube won't replace your website but this YouTube will be opened in a new tab and your website will stay open so this is very useful we click simply add link and here we go when we click on this URL when I publish the website they will be redirected in a new tab to YouTube website so I'm gonna click save now there we go in the right column I'm gonna add let's say contact form actually I'm gonna add something else we can add basically anything here there are various elements here from widgets area tabs accordions a full width button button testimonials table icon box there are various elements here for this purpose I'm gonna add the text block once again and I'm gonna write here this is a right column this right column add content here save there we go we have media elements here as well and with content we have media elements we can add image straight in this box or we can add it the way I just explained in a text box a couple of minutes ago but we can add the image directly with this with this block we can add videos we can add Google Maps galleries and so on if you want to add let's say video from YouTube we click and drag video in here click on it and we simply add a video URL here you copy simply the link from YouTube or some other service and paste it here and click Save I'm gonna delete it now we delete it by the delete element on the top right corner X button there we go we can delete all elements we can delete everything and we can edit everything there is well do the clone element this will duplicate the disk box there we go now when I'm done with this I'm gonna click publish but I don't want this to be published on your website so I'm gonna click preview now so we don't have this trash page there we go so right now I didn't select that this page will be full width so it actually by default has a sidebar on the right but if I click no sidebar and preview once again there we go you can see there is no sidebar on the right we have title which is right here add new title here we have left column and the right column so this is basic setup of the pages we can edit this if I publish this we can edit this fast with the edit page on the top but this is preview page so I'm close it now so basically this is it this is a simple page adding and editing we can add various options various content elements various media elements we can add different layout elements if I want a full width layout element below these two I'm gonna drag it and drag it below and there we go we have a full width full width row below these two columns and we can add again content or media elements into this row all right now when we're done with pages uh, let's go to the post so we're gonna go and add a new post I'm gonna abandon this page there we go 
uh, as you can see it's basically the same there's just new setting here format we again can open advanced layout editor and we can style our page with this editor but this post we can add with the default editor as well we can insert simply here we can insert content here so there are two two ways of adding a page or a post the one that i've just explained with advanced layout editor but we can do it this way this is simpler but the the options of two columns is almost impossible without coding here so if you seek for advanced pages with two columns and various options it's better to use advanced layout editor because it's, it has various options and elements but if this is a simple blog post with only a t text and images it's always better to use simple editor which is default wordpress editor we can add title in here we insert content below we can add again images on add media we can style our text with this this editor and again we choose categories format tags and we select set feature, featured image this is important because in a block block page this block page we have this image here so this this is the image that we set in here set featured image this is the image that is displayed above the title again we can leave sidebar settings by default so we have a right sidebar or we can choose different i'm going to close this now if you want to edit current blog posts like this one this is a standard post format with preview picture i'm gonna open it in a new tab there we go we have a blog post here if you want to edit this blog post we click edit post on the top all right so we have this blog post this is a this is a sample default blog post that you got added on your website does it use advanced layout editor let me check no it doesn't so it's built in a default editor now we can change text in here we simply delete or add anything that we want we can delete everything and add a new content in here we're gonna edit the title in here we can even change the permalinks which is the the one here we can edit it and change it to the one we want and that's basically it and when we're done we can click update so now after i've explained how to add new pages how to edit pages as well as how to add and edit po blog posts i'm going to show you how to add services we got the service page in here there we go we have four services currently if we want to add a new service on this list we have to go in uh, dashboard once again i'm gonna go into dashboard and here we have portfolio items if we open portfolio items we can see we have five portfolio items but this one we got only four here but five on the list that's because the one best laser hair removal in sydney is a draft this is a draft because this was wanted to be removed but we didn't delete it because it might be again used in the future if this service will be available so if we added this draft you can see in here that status of this page actually portfolio item is draft if i edit this and click actually it's draft i click okay if i can publish it now 
So if I publish this now, this service will become available in here. It will be shown here. But I removed it status here. You can see I, I, I will open the one that is currently activated. That got the status published. I will edit it now. If we want to remove this la laser, this laser pigmentation removal and rosacea, it got the status published. I can edit this and set to draft. Okay, and if I click update now, this will disappear from this list. So this is a way to remove some services but not to delete them because they might be again used in the future so you don't have to rewrite the service entire page you got it stored in a uh, WordPress and you can always publish it back let's show you how to add a new portfolio item we open add new add new portfolio entry we're gonna open advanced layout editor we're gonna add a title here now in this editor we got a templates here i'm gonna load this service template as you can see click on it once and it will load laser tattoo removal sydney this is actually a service from your website but we're gonna edit this so it's actually the same structure but you're gonna just alter the images and the content in here and it will be still the same structure just different data in it all right so we can edit this title we can edit we need to edit title here actually we edit it on the start we need to edit this laser to removal sydney we click on it and we change the heading in here and we click save when we're done same is with the content we click on the content and here we go all content is here we can now delete this content and add a new content here and then we click save with the image we simply click on the image this is an image block we click X here to remove this image and simply insert your image from the either media library or from our PC with uploading our files and we click of course save when we're done with the changes and then at the end when we're done with the image content and title change we simply click publish and this service will be shown in a service list actually we need to set this featured image it's important the featured image that you set in here will be the featured image that is shown here so the image that you want to be shown as a service you need to set under featured image We are now under gallery page. This is the next thing that I'm gonna show you. We're gonna click edit page. There we go. So this is a gallery page. If you want to edit this gallery, we need to click on the gallery here. Here we go. We have the list of our items in here. There are various options of this gallery below. We can change change the size of the current gallery, whether we want these images to be smaller, bigger, or anything else. And we can edit or add, we can remove or add images into our gallery. So we're gonna click on, once again, add edit gallery button. We can remove images from the gallery with clicking on the X button, actually minus, minus button on this list or we can add new images into gallery by clicking add to gallery on the top left and selecting our files images from our pc when we're done we click add to gallery and then we click save new images will be listed here and we need of course to save this when we save this we need to update 
this page. So there is a lot of saving, saving steps, but each save is important because the the changes will be lost if you don't save each step. So we of course need to update this page when we're done with the gallery imports. And let's will change here. If we want to change while I'm here, this is the sidebar on the right. This is a contact sidebar. So if we want to change the content which is here, let's say if you change a phone number, you need to change it here. I'm gonna show you now how to do that. We go to the dashboard and we click Appearance Widgets. All right, we have a Contact Us sidebar here. This sidebar has two blocks, Business Hours and Contact Details. If we visit our page, we can see two blocks in here, Business Hours and Contact Details. So if we want to change Business Hours, we simply click here. Now we change the days in here. This is a HTML coding, so this is too complicated to explain, but uh, I suppose it's best to leave it as it is and only alter the data that you need to alter. So working times or days. Here you can actually write anything in here. And this will be shown there if I, of course, save this. Below we have contact details. There we go. Same thing, like the business hours, just different data. So here is the number. This is the number. If you change the number, you simply add a new number in here. Or if you change an email. Or if you change your location. You can simply change these things in here. If we go back to the website, we can see in the top bar email and phone phone number as well we can change this this into unfold clicking on unfold we wait for it to load there we go we go into header extra elements and there we go this is the section that is right there so you need to change this number again be aware not to delete anything of that you don't want to you can just change the number you need to change it both here and both here same as for email on the right you need to change it here and here All right. There is testimonial page. We click edit page if you want to edit this. There we go. We click on testimonial block. And here we can see four testimonial blocks. There are four in here that's exactly the four ones that are here here if you want to edit the client one which is this one name or content you click click on it there we go you can change ima image here change the name change the subtitle below name and change the content when you're done with the changes you simply click save same for all four of these and you can add new ones with a plus button in here there are various options here whether you want it two to be in the columns or one two three or four all right now let's see frequently asked questions this is actually some type of accordion, so let's edit this page.
there we go we again click on accordion block and here we can see all these questions we can simply by dragging and dropping change the positioning of these questions or we can delete by X button questions out of here if you want to change the content of this question and question name you simply click on it edit form element appears you can change the question in here and add an answer in here if you want to add new question and answer you simply click plus button and add it once we are done with the adding or changes we simply click save after saving of course never forget to update this page because if you don't do that changes will be lost all right we are on the home page now now I'm going to show you how to edit this home page we again click edit edit front page here we go we have a full width easy slider on the top there's the section right here below that we can see there's some title and the content if we open it here we can see here is the title and uh, some text below we want to alter this we simply click on it so this special heading we can ch change the heading here and we can change the text below in here when we're done we click save below we have four boxes so these four boxes are the boxes right here we can change actually these those are these four boxes I'm sorry these are four boxes the ones that are here so if we want to change let's say tattoo removal service we click on it and we can change it we can change this icon here we can change title and we can change description we change the title here we change the icon in here we can find a new one and we change the description in here when we're done we click save same for all these four below we have a post slider so these three boxes are the free actually these are free services these are services so this uh, post slider shows only services and on the left we have some custom block which has recent works so if you want to change this section you click on this and simply you change it over here you can delete it add whatever you want and click of course save below that we have our technology and txt once again there's the section right here this is a heading we can click on it we can change it same with the text below below that we have testimonials and the title this is the last thing on this page and as you can see there is the title what others say about us there are some separators you can delete them those are lines over here and over here you can leave them or delete them and you can add testimonials the same way like I'll explain on the testimonial page. And let's visit contact page. Here we have a contact form. It is actually currently sending on your email. These are the contact details that I already explained you and shown you how to edit it and here is here is a google map it needs to be of course changed to your address and actually that's everything that we have explained This tutorial will summon up 
most of the usage of this page. You have learned how to add new pages, how to add new blog posts, how to edit both pages and blog posts, how to add new services, how to edit services, how to add new images into gallery, how to add new frequently asked questions, how to edit them or delete them, as well as how to edit new testimonials or edit current ones. You will learn also how to edit widget, let's say contact, contact widget on the right in the sidebar, and how to edit home page. Again, this is home page. If you, you can add new elements here by click and dropping a new row in here and adding either content or media elements. So that's everything. Thanks for watching.